Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. Legendary former Aussie spinner Shane Warne has waded into the war of words between two-time T20 World Cup winning MVP Marlon Samuels and the England star Ben Stokes. Samuels has been criticized for dragging race into his row with Stokes and for making a crude suggestion about the Englishman's wife. Here's what Marlon Samuels had said in a foul mouth um, outburst. No white boy could diss me in the sports and no get back this. Look at this. Uh, still thinking about me. Give me 14 days with your wife. Turn her into a Jamaican in 14 seconds, mate. None of you all knows me. That simple means I am expletive, superior skin tone. Marlon Samuels there in response to uh, ben Stokes putting something out on social media about the quarantine, how difficult it is and how um, mentally draining it is and saying he wouldn't wish it on his, his worst enemy. And uh, the suggestion came up that not even Marlon Samuels, he would wish that to be happening to so bad as a quarantine now that Urao had started because Ben Stokes had said all of that in a conversation he said with his brother about enduring the difficult conditions of the quarantine. Now, there is no love lost between Shane Warne and Marlon Samuels. The beef between them dates back to their days as rivals in Australia's Big Bash. Those were the comments you just saw there of Ben Stokes explaining in, uh, in a social media um, presentation about how he was discussing the difficulties of the quarantine with his, his brother. And Shane Warne joins in now because of uh, Marlon Samuels' uh, response to Ben Stokes' comment. He said, I've just been sent the Samuels, uh, what Samuels has posted, re Ben Stokes, and it is very, a very sad situation as he obviously needs serious help but has no friends at all, and not even his ex teammates like him. Just because you were an ordinary cricketer, no need to be an ordinary person. Get help, son. So Shane Warnes joins in, and uh, Marlon Samuels, of course, did not let Warnes' comments slide. He responded this way Haha, I need help. Is this coming from the first cricketer to do a face surgery to look young? Doc, can I use the skin from my belly, Doc? No warning from your... Boy, calm down. So Marlon Samuels is um, responding to, well, almost everyone who is criticizing him about his comments about Ben Stokes. And uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of it because Marlon um, doesn't stop, does he, um, for several years, even over a decade. Wayne Lewis has interacted with Marlon Samuels, first as a weeper person and then also as a team selector for the Jamaica team, the Jamaica Cricket Association, while Marlon was still representing Jamaica. Uh, what are your views, Wayne, on, on this saga? <laughs> it's a nothing situation. Nothing. First, first, I'm going to talk a little bit about Shane Wan saying he has no friends. I don't know that Shane Wan knows that Marlon has no friends. And I think he's adding fire, fuel to the fire by getting involved this way and saying that he needs help and so on, he gets help and so on, and he's an ordinary cricketer, he doesn't need to be an ordinary person. I don't know that he needed to have gotten involved in it. This was a situation between Ben Stokes and Marlon Samuels. I thought Marlon Samuels overplayed it, I thought he overreacted, and there was absolutely no need for him to refer the situation and getting his wife involved in it and saying that 14 seconds should be at Jamaica and if he give me half for 14 days. I thought that was out of line. But, I mean, Marlon is Marlon. He's going to react the way he, he, he feels. Mm -hmm. He talks about the fact that he's also very rich. And therefore, I don't know that money should play a part in all of this. Because these guys are all rich guys anyway. But I just think that Marlon didn't have to go there. I don't know that he had to, to respond the way, this vile way that he did. And I thought that it just very sad that mm -hmm. he would go there. Yeah, and it looks we... very bad. And a lot of persons, it's been talked about a lot. A lot of cricketers all over the world mm -hmm. are talking about it. And Marlon is being put in a very bad way. Wayne, can we say this goes back to, of course, the rivalry on the field? Because, you know, Shane Warne and Marlon Samuels has gotten into um, altercations on the field and then um, Ben Stokes. So Shane Warne seeing this as an opportunity to just slide in. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the boy wants to be relevant. But I, I know that Shane Warne doesn't care exactly. And he knows that Marlon is going to respond in a very... And you see, you see his response to, 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 to Shane Warne as well. I don't know that he cares too much about Marlon and his, his responses, but I just th thought that he could have stayed out of it. And, and again, Marlon really didn't have to go there. I thought that when I read it, Ben Stokes was just being nice, being funny. He isn't the one who even mentioned Marlon. Ben Stokes' brother said to him, not even Marlon Samuel is in a joking 
way. Yeah, but he didn't have to put that out, though. Exactly. He didn't have to put that out. Because it's something light. It's light out this stuff, Lance. It's not serious. No, but yesterday, George made a point, um, and I want to bring it back into the discussion because I feel like it's suitable at this point. George was making the point that Ben Stokes and Marlon Samuels are no friends. It comes like we can poke fun. Like I made a joke about George today saying that I'm not supporting him because I know the relationship that we share off camera. Ben Stokes and um, Marlon Samuels are no friends on the cricket field and it's public knowledge. But that's exactly so, why he said it. Because his brother said But then it's not, not light-hearted because that's the point I'm going to make. You but said he it's supported it. He's, yeah, but he said not even Marlon Samuels. His brother, brother asked him. Not even Marlon, and he said what no. All right, all right put it this way. Put it, put it this I way. Don't know. Wait, I wait, think Brett wait, was just when, smiling. When, when Ben Stokes put that out, don't you think that Ben Stokes knew that Marlon wouldn't take kindly to it? Maybe, but I'm sure he didn't expect that Marlon would bring his wife into play. No, I, I mean, didn't. I think they would take better. But I'm just saying that for Ben Stokes to put that out on social media, that in itself was a bit provocative. Listen, not, I'm, not that it required. Provocative, the, lads. Yeah, it's provocative. It's something light-hearted. They yes, were just but joking around. Yes, but they, they dislike each other. So what about Marlon they, just they, ignoring they, it and not responding? Marlon wouldn't do that. And I, I, think, and I think Ben Stokes knows that. that Marlon wouldn't do that. Right, but I'm sure, I, personally for me, I think that... Let me not say we're wasting time discussing, discussing it. I'm just saying that it's a nothing situation. It was said in jest. It was funny. I, when I read it, I thought that it was okay. At least there's a beef, but not even Marlon, he wanted to go through yeah, that. But That's how awful it was. And he just said, not even Marlon. And he laughed about it and he moved on. He said nothing else. So for Marlon to come out firing all guns blazing, I thought it was an overkill. Well, there's no question that Marlon overreacted. Yeah. And Marlon, Marlon, Marlon's, Marlon's um, outburst is inexcusable and foul-mouthed and, and embarrassing, quite frankly. Is Shane Warren you know, have a problem with coming out and saying that he has no friends and he needs help and all of those things, and you're an ordinary cricketer? I don't know that. And I what, mean, is, what, is, Shane needed to what go, do you go mean, there. like, behaving like an ordinary person? Like, what does that even mean? He's just, he just giving I take offense to that. Mm. I, I'm taking um, to an exception to person. Shane Warren getting involved in it and calling the man an ordinary cricketer mm. and you don't need to be an ordinary person as well and you need help as if to say he has some psychological problems and so on. Mm. I think I, that to me was, was an overplay on Shane Warren's um, mm. and he has a, a, a long history as well. Shane Warren's biggest ambition in life was to captain Australia. And because of his behavior over the years, he never got to captain Australia. And he'll tell her that he, he's going to take it to his grave because he so wanted to captain Australia. But because of his bad attitude and his bad behavior on and off the field, he never captain Australia. Mm. Uh, the, the thing is, I would go back to the, the original point, though, that I, 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 I honestly think that Ben Stokes, while he was being cheeky, I, I, I'm, I'm confident that he knew when he wrote that, that Marlon wouldn't take kindly to it. I think, I, I I think everyone think so. knows Marlon, and I think when Ben wrote that. So is it because everyone knows Marlon, everybody has to be very careful how you respond? Well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying this is the world of social media. We, we see Marlon's behavior on social media, and it is not decent. But maybe Ben Stokes would not have been privy to social that. Media. No, no, no. Ben Stokes knows the dating. Of course, they are. Of course they, are. They, 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 they know these things. I'm trying to help. But it's a, it's a brother. sad story, right? To be it honest. It is, to be honest. because Marlon made it into a Yeah, a lot was made of the Chris Gale and Sarwan, you know, um, name calling. Name calling and the outburst there, but this one is, is far worse. But Marlon is good at, 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 at colorful language, and, and, and it's almost the, these guys are tracing. It's a Jamaican thing to say, a quarreling, mm. but he's good at it. Mm. All right, well, gentlemen, as we go to break, we continue our build up to the 100th running of the Jamaica Derby, live on your home of champion Sports Max from 4 p.m., 5 p.m. outside Jamaica on Saturday, October 31st. Today we rewind to 2018 when the big gelding drone strike had odds of 24 to 1, slew rivals to win the derby for jockey Aaron Chattery and trainer Patrick Wacky Lynch. As the tempo will increase in the derby, they're about to arrive at the half mile and Marquesas has now shot through and taken a three length lead over drone strike. The Philly Ferus is asked now and called on for every effort as they leave the 716th. A break back to contractor and Sun Sun. Commander 2 has faded badly. Lisi's Pepsi is pushed along in behind, but up front as they arrive at the 516th, it is Marquesas and here 
Taylor is the surprise of the party. Jones Strike now throwing down a strong challenge. Marquesas drifts off the rail. Jones Strike gets a perfect rail run and Jones Strike now hits the front in the derby. As they leave the 316th, Marquesas battling under the left hand stick. Forget Ferru's son, son and the rest. It is Jones Strike with a furlong to run. Jones Strike out in front. Marquesas has no answers and it is Jones Strike surprisingly in that lead and beginning to open up in the end. Jones Strike will take it at 24 to 1. Jones Strike wins the derby over Marquesas.